Hi, everyone. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Alan Kennedy, and I'm a business broker, and I'm going to do today's what we would call Thoughtful Thursday slot, or probably better known to you as an education slot. Today's education slot is all about pricing, and I'm over my career, I've met with over 500 firms of accountants, and I've asked almost all of them, how much you charge for a simple set of accounts on a company that turns over £250,000 and you have to do the director's personal tax return and corporation tax return. His bookkeeper is pretty good, or their bookkeeper is pretty good, and so you don't have to do much remedial bookkeeping. And the answers vary from the lowest I've ever heard is £350, which was a bookkeeper who uh, said, well, I've done all the bookkeeping, so why do I need to charge extra? Up to someone who was charging £5,000 for what was extensively the same product. And the person who was charging £5,000 said to his clients, I think I'm worth it because of the quality of the business advice I give, but you don't agree, you can have a difference between my price and the person down the road, Okay, which was typically about £1,500 at the time. No one ever paid his, the money back. Sometimes they left him, but they never paid it back. Clearly, they thought it was good value for money. And so this prompted me to think a bit and when I was lecturing to the CIPD down in Reading uh, a few years back, I asked them about four pricing situations. One was a personal trainer, how much would you would pay? And so they told me, and the prices ranged from 25 up to 75 pounds. And then I said, well, if I could tell you a personal trainer who were 200,000 pounds a year, what would you say? So they all looked a bit shocked. And I said, well, that particular personal trainer was a specialist of getting people high up in the echelons of industry, say typically FTSE 250 chief execs, back to work if they had a health care. And they didn't really care what it costs. They just wanted to get back to work quickly. And the same was true with the prices the HR professional charged. And so what I found is wherever you go, prices will be some very high and some very low. The key is to make sure you find the clients that are right for you so you can charge them the prices which are right for you. Uh, there's more about this on my YouTube channel if you want to see it. Um, uh, and I'm going to leave you with one thought. Someone has to be the most expensive. Why not you? Bye for now.